All right, welcome back, Fox. We have to, folks, we have to start with this Fox News alert because you have to see this video. Earlier today, our own Geraldo Rivera was caught in the middle of a firefight in Libya. They're firing, they're firing on us. I think we should steal them. Get in the vehicle and go. Come on, guys, in the vehicle. Okay. They're firing at us. They're firing RPGs and mortars at us. Geraldo now safe and sound, joins us live from Benghazi, Libya. Uh, Geraldo, uh, did you fear for your life for a moment? Well, uh, it was longer than a moment, Dave. It was, uh, you know, the kind of situation where it evolved kind of slowly. It started with a single, a single sniper shot. Uh, then we took cover from that. And then it just kind of started to escalate. Uh, the irregular forces, the rebel forces behind us, opened up with their heavier weapons than the Qaddafi forces who are holed up inside the University of Brega, a town about 135 miles from here. They started opening up with their RPGs, their rocket-propelled grenades, uh, and their, uh, their machine guns and their weapons. And they targeted us. Uh, so there was a, a wild exchange. It was like a shootout uh, between two unruly gangs, or at least one unruly gang. That was the side I was on. And some professional soldiers, the Qaddafi soldiers, who were dug in at the university in Brega. Every time they unleashed their salvos, the rebel uh, irregulars would wildly retreat or fire their weapons. And then it seemed to me that the Gaddafi forces would get our coordinates where we were targeted, then let go with their RPGs, and there may have been mortars involved also. But it was a wild, wild scene. Uh, and, you know, I was as worried about getting shot in the back by the good guys as I was getting shot in the front by the Gaddafi forces, who really uh, ha are holding uh, that university now uh, with the rebel forces semi-surrounding them, the regular rebel army has gone beyond Brega, so these Qaddafi forces are behind the rebel lines, but they've got a tough position, and given the absolute disorganization, uh, bad training, and, uh, you know, absolute lack of chain of command, I doubt the rebel forces can dislodge those Qaddafi loyalists inside that university. And let me just add one thing quickly, if I may. There's a lot of talk now, a lot of pressure on various uh, powers, NATO and the United, including the United States and others, to arm the rebels. I swear to God, if you give these people weapons and more powerful than they have right now, they will be a grave danger to themselves and others. They don't know how to use these weapons. At the first sign of a threat, they let loose their salvos. And then when you really have incoming, when the enemy is fighting back, and it's the time when real soldiers use their training and their experience and the chain of command and the sergeants uh, and, the, and the captains and the other superior officers give their tactical commands, that is non-existent in the rebel army. This is the... At this, they have the, I, I may have said this before, but they have the fire discipline of an L.A. street gang. It was uh, really very worrisome and, and, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, seeing the video and hearing the shots kind of conjures up the, the, the bad memories. And this only happened really uh, maybe two, three hours ago. Yeah, and, and Geraldo, we're seeing some of the new video that you guys are, uh, have just fed into us here. Uh, rebels just randomly firing into the air. And we talked to Chris Wallace right after your last report last hour. And one of the fears that Chris had mentioned, of course, within Washington, are we heading for a stalemate? I mean, you talk about this ragtag army. You talk about Qaddafi's forces, which aren't going anywhere. Is that the end game here, a stalemate? Well, I'll take a stalemate, particularly if they would agree to a ceasefire. The problem now is there are still civilians in Brega. Uh, I was with a fellow uh, who was weeping because he couldn't reach his wife. There are still, uh, you know, women and children in the crossfire here. Uh, you know, it is, it's a mess out there. It's a violent, treacherous, 
perilous, dangerous scene. And the way I see it right now, this is going to be a pendulum, a deadly pendulum that swings the rebels' way when Gaddafi's people, uh, you know, feel that they are threatened. It'll swing Gaddafi's way when uh, these kids run scared when they are confronted by a stout, well-led resistance. Uh, you know, I think stalemate is exactly what it is. There's no way the Qaddafi forces are going to cross that 135 miles of desert to get back to Benghazi. That's a killing ground. If the rebels don't succeed in doing it, then the Allied air power will. Well, Geraldo, nothing illustrates better how perilous the situation is than the video that you have fed into us in awesome. the last hour. Be careful and uh, keep us updated throughout the hour with what's happening there.